Hi, welcome to Art Draw. Today we're going to draw the Ageless from Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. So let's go in at the top of here. In the very top we're going to put a little point there just to denote where his head will go. And then maybe just let's work out where the chin might go. So I reckon just put a proper line in there. Cool, okay. So what I'll do is just draw a little bit of hair area. So I'm just going to go up and around a little bit like so. Let's have a look. Let's move that down here. Let's draw a couple of sort of diagonal lines here for the hair. He has a long bit of hair here, so let's get that sorted out now. So it goes all the way down his face. So I'm going to go and do a line like that, all the way down there. Cool. Now this little area here, we just put a line in. That's like the chin area. So I'm just going to draw a line up to about here, like that, diagonally up. Join them up, like that. Okay. Just going to do another one up here, like so. Up here is going to be like the cheek area, so up there like that. And on this side too, just up there. Have a little ear going on here, so like a little semicircle going on. So about there, just going to go around like that. Same on this side, just pop a little sort of C area there. Join this up to the hair, so just move that up like that. And then where he's got his parting here, we can just come out and down and then join that here from the top part of the hair out and down just by the ear area. That's cool. Okay. On this side here, let's just join this air, uh, hair up there. Okay. And then just have a little bit of a fringe, like a couple of little sort of curves that go in there. That's cool. All right. Middle of his nose well, comes down this way. So just going to pop a line like that. Just do a line underneath, sort of denote the nose area. Um, eyelids just around like this. This one goes like under the hair there. Pop a couple of dots in there for the eyes. And then let's just pop on a little eyebrow in there, like that, sort of like goes up and down. Same on this side, we'll just go along and down, so along down for the eyebrow there. Let's pop a little mouth in. So, Around like that, it's a bit of a straight line. It's a fairly pensive mood uh, for the ageless. All right, let's pop a bit of a neck in. I think we should go down to about here. So just draw a line up there. Draw a little shorter line there, that area of two. Now it's got a collar, so I'm gonna pop a V in just there. Join that up either side of the neck. And then we'll just curve around and down along like so there. Okay. Right, next up, we're going to do a line straight down from that collar V, down like that. It's just like the sort of start of the chest area. This goes out and around here, sort of diagonally up and up there, sort of matches up like so there. Okay. Two lines out, one here, one here, start of the shoulders, and he's got these big shoulder pads on, so I think we're going to go. Do a couple of diagonal lines like that. Go around the shoulder like so. A couple of curves. And then down like that. Got a bit of a zigzag going on here. So up, along and curve. And then down here, we're gonna go up, along, curve up like that. Okay, cool. This is repeated. Uh, three times here so let's do the same sort of thing so down along one two three and here so down two three like that cool okay that's your shoulder area is done let's have a look the middle of his body here sort of tapers in a bit so what i'm going to do is just draw a couple of lines to about sort of here down down like that okay Great. That's what tapers in there. It's got an arm that's coming out here because what we're going to do is have him holding his sword area that goes down to the floor here. So I'm just going to draw out an arm that goes here, here. That's the top part, part of his arm. Same here, but this one comes out a bit further. So we're probably going to go down to about there. Just do a line there and a line there. That's cool. Right. Let's work out where his hand's going to be. So I think we're going to need to draw a hand about there. So I'm just going to do 
a little kind of sausage shape there at the top of the hand. Let's put his glove area in. So I'm just gonna do another little round bit there. And then we'll join this up. It's got like body armor on here. So I'm gonna go directly out like this and around and through, and then just join that with another little one there. That's cool. Okay, let's pop some fingers in. So one, two, three, four, like that. He has some little circular areas on there. So I'm just gonna pop in a few little circles there just to show that. Let's just join that area there. Cool, okay. Now his other arm's gonna be about here. His other hand saw is gonna be about here. So I'm gonna do a little line there. So I'm trying to denote that. One, two, three, four fingers. And another little sausage shape sort of there. And around again, I'm just gonna pop some circles in for him. Just around the wrist area. Just on the top of the hand. Join that up like so. Let's then have a look about here. Got some uh, sort of armor, so I'm just going to do a sort of semicircle there, and then we're going to just do a couple of lines here, and then just join that up with another little semicircle there, just to show their arm armor off. It's got a bit of detail on the arm arm area, so I'm just going to put a couple of diagonal lines in there, a couple of diagonal lines in there. Okay. Next up, I'm going to just do the top of the sword comes out and around like so, so a bit of a semicircle down like that, do the same here. And there's a bit of a sort of V going on. So I'm gonna do a dot there. And let's just join those areas up like that. A little bit of detail there. Now we can just draw the rest of his torso along here. So just do a line to there. Now he's holding the rest of the sword. So I'm just gonna draw two lines here where we'll be holding that like so. Uh, and then the other part of the torso, let's Put a line there, it comes down to about here. Cool, okay. There's a belt area around here, so I'm just gonna sort of join up an area there. Put a little belt part here, like so, and just put a little kind of circle in there. Just do the same on this side as well, so just put a little belt area, just to show that. And there's like a couple of little studs, so a couple of little circles just on that belt area. Right, let's continue the rest of the sword. So I think it should come down to around about here. Okay, so we're gonna just continue the rest of the sword here. Now, it comes out ever so slightly out of his hand there. So just two little lines there. And then we'll just do a little, a little curve there to the belt area. And then another one there, okay. Bring this down, two lines like that. Two diagonal lines up uh, here. And then we'll just join that around like so. Put a little dot there, bring that out, a little arrow sort of look. Now we can work out the rest of the sword. So let's work our way this side down to about here, this side down to about here, sort of tapering as you do it. And then it kind of comes out a little bit like that and curves around at the end, okay? Now this little dot here, could put a little circle there. And it's got a bit of sort of yellow, I think, sort of yellow, sort of gold looking area in the middle of it. So I'm gonna just draw that up to the middle area there and down here so we know what's going on there. Okay, right, next up, let's do the legs. So let's think, we're gonna go and do a knee to about, I think here and about here-ish, okay? So I'm gonna just do the armor plating of the top area of the leg down from about here to here. Same on this side, out from about here to about there. Okay, let's do his knee pads. So it's like a little arrow area in the center, a little arrow sign up there. And then we'll just do the same thing again. So it's like almost like a little mini shield that is uh, knee pads, okay? Right, join those areas up like so. And what we can do as well is just do the inner part of his leg up. So up like that, up like that. Then we can do the rest of his uh, legs there. So I'm going to bring that down to about there. This side, bring that in about here. This side, do the same. Line down, line down like that. Uh, because he's got kind of uh, knight's armor on, I'm going to do a little V up like so, like that. And then 
Let's have a look. Let's bring his foot out like so, around like that, so quite angular. And then put a couple of more little arrow looks on there just to show that armor. This side is going to have his foot coming out to about, say, here. Okay. So let's just join that up there, the base there, and then sharply bring that up like so. Then a couple of little arrows kind of up like that there. Okay. Knee pads, there's a couple of little dots, sort of rivets. So I'm going to pop those in like that. And then a little bit of, um, kind of detail on the armor. So again, a couple of these little sort of arrows, arrow heads going up. Let's do a couple of those just to show some detail. Um, the leg area, let's have a look. Ooh, I think should have a little bit of a curve going up around like that. Same on this side like that. And then we can just draw in maybe a little bit of detail. So it's going to go out and up like so there. Okay. Great. Next up, let's just do the center area of his chest. So he's kind of got, let's do a circle in the middle there. So like a circle here. And then I'm going to do like a bit of a circle around it. And it's almost like a bit of a Shrek head. Two little Shrek ears out here like that. And that kind of curves around and down, curves around and down like that. Okay. Now the rest of the body armor, this kind of goes around like curved again. So I'm just going to do another curve and another curve there. And then we'll just do a diagonal line out and out like so there. A couple of little bits of gold on there. So I'm just going to do some little kind of circles. It's just going to show that off. There we go. Put those on there. Now, just got a little bit of like long hair on the edges at the back there. So I'm just going to do a couple of like swooshing bits of hair down to show that long hair off like that one on that side and this side as well sort of swoosh down a little bit there brilliant okay right let's just put a little bit of uh, ground behind him so just like put whatever kind of ground you like and he's a little bit sort of uneven there great okay that's the line work for the age that's done let's get in there now and start to colour him up. I'm going to do, let's do the, the lighter blues first, get some light blues in. It's got some nice light blues around the, um, the chest area at the top here. So I'm going to just fill these in with a, quite a royal blue around here. And the same on this side too. That's it. bit of blue there okay I think maybe on the inner part of his arm as well I might just put a couple of lines in like this maybe even though this is sort of piping I might just color this part in as well just show a bit of variance when we fill it in later on okay going down here let's color these parts in that color too and there and then have a look I think this part under here around the belt area that can be that color and then this area around here apart from this bit that goes up all of this can be that nice really blue color as well in there. and then this side as well so fill that area in and this bit here too Okay, maybe what I'll do now is just a little bit, just just to make it a little bit interesting. We'll just do this bottom part of the uh, feet as well. Maybe just just pop in one of these knee pads areas to that nice lighter blue colour. Okay, cool. Let's use the darker blue now. So let's go and have a look just around um, the shoulder and collar area using sort of a darker blue part there. Let's pop a couple of bits in there. Just in the arms, let's fill in around here. That's it, just fill in bits, gaps on the armor there. Just underneath this part here, that would be good as blue. And then just on the glove areas too, there's like a little bit just, we can just pop in just around those circles that we made like that 
That's good. Okay, right. Uh, leg areas, I think we'll just fill in sort of these parts here. Maybe just leave a little bit of light. So just do a line along, leave a little bit of white on these parts just to show that it's kind of armor and it's kind of popping. And then let's, let's leave a little bit on the toe part of the shoe as well, of his, of his armor there. Okay, that's cool. Right, next up, let's have a think. I think we've got some nice kind of gray colors just on this armor. Let's just show you that it's a bit of armor and just put some grays in there. So we have it curving around. That's good. It's got a quite regalist kind of look. Just, just sort of put some curved little bits on around there. Let's color this area on the bottom part here in and then just sort of show the light bouncing off as well. So maybe I'll just color that part there, leave a little bit there. And even this part here, maybe what we'll do is we'll color that whole side in here. Maybe just a little bit of this bit here. Okay, the sword parts have got some, um, this uh, kind of steely gray color too. So I'm gonna do the same sort of thing here. Just sort of show that it's a, a bit of a blade, put it down there, all the way down here. That's cool. And just around maybe these parts here too. Nice, okay. Um, skin color. Let's just pop in some kind of skin tones here for our guy. So just around here, maybe just leave a bit around the side of the face and maybe the fingers as well. So we can just show the light popping off those. Yeah, that's cool. Then we've got kind of like the belt areas. So what I'm gonna do is get sort of a bit of a sort of brownier color just fill in around there, around the belt. This side as well. That's good. There's those bits there. Now that central part in the middle there, it's got a bit of kind of purple around it. So let me just get a little bit of purple for a bit of a purple pop. Just around those sort of Shrek ears and, and there. I'm gonna just put in a bit of like a purpley color. Yeah, that's good. Okay, just around like that. And there too. And then just the hair, let's get some black and just fill that in. So I'm just gonna fill in black there. Maybe just leave a little bit of light to white areas. And what I might do is just use a bit more of that blue actually, just to kind of show that it's very black hair that the character's got. So let's get that darker blue out and just, just around the edge of that, just put a little bit of blue. Yeah, that's good. Right, just to give it a pop now. Let's use some uh, yellow and orange. So the central part here, let's just color that yellow. And we've got some nice little yellow sort of accent colors we can just use to make the picture pop a little bit. So the little circle rivets sort of around there. Um, just in, there's a bit of yellow there, yellow here and here. And then down the center, the sword, and that little part there, I think too. Uh, just to cap that off, I'm going to get a bit of a, a darker orange and we're just going to just go around some of those parts, just on the edge, just to make that kind of pop and show a little bit more regal maybe than just the yellow. Nice. And then what I might do then is for the background, just put on some sort of sandy sort of footing there. And just helps add a bit of atmosphere to the picture. Amazing, okay, right, let's get that nice blue out again. And right, 
the ageless so that's the ageless on our draw thanks for watching